camely, olivey, baby poopy. So I have to mention these eyeshadow palettes and I have quite a few in my hand. I have five. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun tag for you today. This is going to be the eyeshadow junkie tag, which is very fitting for me because you guys know I'm a total eyeshadow junkie. I've also become a lip product junkie though in like the recent year, year and a half or something like that. So now it's kind of tied for me. So I'm kind of an eyeshadow junkie and a lippy junkie. But you guys know that eyeshadow is still like my first makeup love. I still love eyeshadow, so this is very, very fitting for me. I was tagged by a couple of my friends, Julie and Tara. They did this tag, they actually created this tag with Candace also, so it's a great tag. It has some really fun questions. It talks about like drugstore things, but also you can throw in high-end things and just lots of different fun questions related to eyeshadow. So let's jump into it. Okay, question number one is favorite drugstore line for eyeshadows. And it seems like this is a popular answer and it's because these are amazing. These are the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I'm impressed that I'm even able to hold them like this. I'm probably about to drop them all. But these are just amazing. I tried to like pick some of my favorites, but it's so hard to pick favorites because I really love them all. But I mean, they have incredible neutral shadows. They have, um, or neutral colors. They have incredible colorful shades too. So I just, I grabbed a lot of them, but I'll just show you a couple. So Bronze Taupe is just gorgeous. I mean, it is just a beautiful bronzy taupe color is what it is. And it is just ridiculously pigmented. This is a one and done shadow. I mean, easy eye look, but it just, it looks like you put so much effort forth. These are so pigmented, but then you have beautiful, amazing colorful shades like this one. What is this? This is Golden Emerald. Oh my gosh, like look at it, catch the light. What? This is so pretty. And they're all like this. They really are. They do have some like satin shades in the range that are also beautiful, but these kind of like metallic ones are, they're the standouts for me, the ones that I love. But I mean, really, you, Put a designer label on these and stick them in Nordstrom and they can stand up against all of those, I feel like. I mean, they are ridiculously pigmented. They blend beautifully. You can use them wet or dry. I have one on my eyes today. I'm wearing Amber Rush. So wet or dry, they wear incredibly well. They have just every color that you could possibly want. And they come out with limited edition ones and I freak out <laughs> and I have to go search for them. They're just awesome. If you haven't tried these yet, yes, 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 go grab one or two just to give them a go because they are so good. Question number two is favorite eyeshadow primer. And I have two favorites, but honestly, like these are a big price difference. So I probably pick the drugstore one as my ultimate favorite, but they are, I'll go ahead and mention them both because I use these both um, a lot. So first is Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I just love this. I feel like it's a great eyeshadow primer. I do think that eyeshadow primers and really face primers too, primers in general, are just a very personal thing. It kind of depends on your eyelids, your eyelid oiliness situation, your eye sensitivity and like sensitivity to ingredients. I think all plays into what kind of a primer you like. So I think it's kind of a personal thing. But for me, I really love the Urban Decay Primer Potion but I also really love the Wet n Wild Fergie eyeshadow primer. And this is like four or five dollars and this is a lot more, 20 something. And this is like the jumbo size, so that was even more. But I love this. I feel like the um, formula on these is really, really similar. If anything, I think this one might be a little bit tackier where it really sticks your eyeshadows to your eyelid and really helps them adhere and stay throughout the day. So. I would just go with this one. I still do love this. I think it's a great primer and I use it all the time on myself and also on clients, but I really do love this one a lot. So I would say probably just go with this one. This one's a fun question. Number three is first ever eyeshadow purchase and do you still use it? So I was thinking through, my first eyeshadow purchase was probably Mary Kay because my mom did Mary Kay when I first started like playing around with makeup. I didn't full on wear makeup at that point, 
but I was just kind of like playing around in it. So it was most definitely a Mary Kay, I would say. But I don't have any of those and I don't remember a specific one, but I do remember purchasing Max Sumptuous Olive years ago. And I wore this all the time. And this is the same one <laughs> from years ago. And I do occasionally still wear this, but actually I kind of forget about it. But doing this tag and answering this question made me think, oh my gosh, I love Sumptuous Olive because it's a really, really cool color. It's kind of one of those colors that's so ugly, it's good. You know what I mean? It really is kind of an ugly color that ends up being beautiful because it's like a camely, olivey, baby poopy <laughs> kind of a shade, but I mean, it's got like this sheen and this metallic look to it. So I love it. And look at that. I mean, that's an old eyeshadow and it still has a lot of pigmentation to it. So I still love this eyeshadow. So this is definitely one of my oldest purchases, one of my very first that I remember getting and I do still really love it. Number four is best drugstore eyeshadow dupe. And I do have a whole dupes playlist on my channel. I'll link it down below for you. Most of those videos are lip product related, but I know I at least have one, maybe I have two eyeshadow dupes videos in that playlist. So if you wanna see a lot of dupes, you can check out that video or possibly videos, I can't remember. Um, but I do have one that I really love and I don't remember if it's in that video or not. But this is Max Tan Pigment and the dupe is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. Let me get these swatched, these are really close. Okay, so here they are swatched side by side. So this is Max Tan Pigment on the bottom here and this is Amber Rush. So they are really, really close. You guys know I'm like ridiculous with my dupes. When I say dupe, like I'm gonna point out if I see any difference. Um, tan might be just a little bit more pink and a little bit deeper in tone. And Amber Rush might be a little bit more coppery and lighter, but they are so close. And especially on your eyes, I don't think that you'd be able to tell the difference. They're both beautiful. I love them both but this one is definitely, you know, the less expensive option. So it's a good dupe. Number five, I'm gonna totally cheat. I'm gonna mention three different things because I love talking about underdog products and that's kind of what this question is about. It says, most underrated eyeshadow or eyeshadow palette. What do you hear about the least but love? And I have heard people talk about these three palettes, but not as much as a lot of others. It just doesn't, they just don't get the same hype as a lot of things on YouTube. So first off is BH Cosmetics Forever Nude. This is, first off, it's just adorable. I mean, you look at it and it looks like it's from the 50s. It's this really cute, like muted peachy color. Love it. And then the stuff inside is just really good. I mean, the eyeshadows are really pretty. The blushes are really good. It's just a great like travel, throw it in your bag kind of palette, but it makes a really sweet, makeup look. I do think I have a tutorial using this, so if I can find it, I'll link it down below for you. Love that. And then I love my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette, and honestly, gathering things together for this tag kind of reminded me about this palette because I haven't shown it a lot of love lately, but I really enjoy this palette a lot, and it has great quality eyeshadows in it. They are so buttery and nice. And this, it just really doesn't get as much attention. But I mean, these are good eyeshadows and the collection of colors, oh my gosh, this is so nice. And the collection of colors in this palette is really, really beautiful. You can make some just gorgeous, warm, like pinky, sweet, romantic sort of eye looks with this palette. It is a great one and it just doesn't get a ton of attention. And then my NYX Avent Pop palette. This is in Surreal My Heart. I was so shocked by this palette when I got it because the quality of these shadows just is nice. I mean, these are good shadows. They do kick up some product. That's the only negative I have to say about them, but they are buttery. They blend really well. They last really well on the eyes. I love this little palette. I still want the other one. I don't remember what it's called. It's like the more neutral one. Is it Nouveau Chic or something like that? Maybe something like that. Oh my gosh, this palette is beautiful. Yes, 
and it has gotten some attention and I see people talk about it on Instagram occasionally, but just not as much as, you know, the Naked palettes or the Chocolate Bar palettes or something like that, but it's beautiful. This is a gorgeous palette. Number six is Favorite Single Eyeshadow. I have to go with L'Oreal Infallible's Ice Latte. This is just such a versatile, beautiful shadow color and I use it a lot. Um, just like in different ways. Like I use it on my lid a lot with multiple different colors in my crease and outer corner. I mean, you can use this with a blue and make a really pretty colorful eye look. You can use it with a bronzy shade to make a great neutral eye. You can use it with a black to make a really dramatic nighttime, very contrasting sort of an eye look beautiful that way. You can put it in your inner corner just to kind of brighten your eyes, use it as a highlight. I mean, it is so versatile, but it is gorgeous. Just like this amazing snowy champagne, a little bit golden sort of a color. It's amazing. It's one of the infallibles, so it's an awesome formula. Yeah, if you get one of the L'Oreal Infallibles. I would say start with this one, and then probably, I don't know, maybe Amber Rush, maybe Bronze Taupe. It's hard to choose, but this is my favorite single eyeshadow. Number seven is favorite cream shadow. So I have to mention Max Painterly Paint Pot because I use this every single day just to cancel out discoloration on my lids. So it's just kind of like my everyday base kind of color. So I have to mention this one. Love it, can't do without that one. But then just like a really beautiful cream shadow, like my favorite, more creative kind of cream shadow, I would say, is the e.l.f. Smudge Pot in Brownie Points. This is so beautiful. I'm wearing this on my eyes today, but it kind of got covered up by everything else, so you can't really, you can't really tell that this is even going on with my eyes, but it is. And this is like shockingly good, and it's $3. Oh my gosh. It's just a beautiful dark bronzy shade, but it is so pigmented. Oh my gosh. It is so pigmented, so metallic, and it's a bronze with like, you can see how it kind of like catches the light. So it has that little bit of like golden sheen to it. It's amazing. I mean, this would be amazing for $20, but for $3, it's even more amazing. Like that just makes it even better. So yeah, I would say definitely check out Brownie Points. It is so beautiful. Number eight is favorite neutral eyeshadow. So I have to mention these eyeshadow palettes and I have quite a few in my hand. I have five. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like mention them in generalities, but I feel like these are great neutral eyeshadow palettes. First off, the Urban Decay Naked Basics palettes. These are just really awesome, like, base palettes for your collection because they pair so nicely with other things. So if you have the L'Oreal Infallible shadows, like some colorful shades, I mean, you've got like great grounding neutral shades here that can blend with those and make complete eye looks. The Naked Basics is more kind of, um, I don't know, a little bit more warm toned of a neutral palette. And then the Naked Basics 2 is a little bit more on the taupey, cooler tone side. So I love these. I feel like they are great little palettes. But then also the Physician's Formula Matte Quads. These are awesome. So this one is Canyon Classics. This has like a nice collection of some warm tones, but also kind of a slate gray kind of color. And then a, you know, basic like cream shade. This one is Quartz Quartet. It's more of the cool toned one. And this one is Classic Nude. So this one is more the warm toned one, like overall warm. And then you've got like the collection of them. Like the, this one's kind of like a mix of warm and cool. Whereas this one's cool, that one's warm. So you've got your options here, but they're great little quads and they blend really nicely. And again, they just make those great grounding shades base shades that you can use with a bunch of different things to make some really beautiful eye looks. Number nine is favorite colored eyeshadow. And I have to go with my Urban Decay Electric palette. Even though I don't play with this palette a ton, I still really love it. I mean, just looking at it makes me happy because this packaging is so beautiful and colorful and vibrant. 
but also the eyeshadows inside are really, really nice. And I feel like they're really unique, some of them. Like Thrash, I mean, you just don't see a super bright chartreuse green color a ton. So that one's really unique. A really bright pink, I mean, you don't see that a ton. Slow Burn, like a really awesome bright, you know, reddish orange kind of color. These are just really fun, vibrant shades. So, I mean, if you are looking for bright and colorful and something out of the box, the Electric Palette is, I mean, oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. This is a great option. Like I said, I don't reach for this palette a ton because I typically go for more neutral eye looks. I mean, sometimes I'm feeling a little colorful, but as a general rule, I wear a lot of neutrals. But if I'm gonna go for color, this is a great option. It's beautiful. And then finally, number 10 is best eyeshadow palette ever. And I'm gonna be a little bit boring with my answer on this one, but this really is my favorite in my collection. And it's the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Just the original first one. I love this palette. And I was trying to think of like, why it's my number one. And probably part of it is nostalgia just because I think it was probably my first high-end eyeshadow palette purchase, so it's a little bit nostalgic in that regard. But also, I really love this palette, and I do reach for it, and I actually take it on a lot of trips with me, which I think says a lot, because it's kind of like that never-fail-me sort of palette. I mean, I know you've seen these shadows like a bajillion times, but they are just buttery, smooth, they blend like a dream, they last really well on the eyes, they look really vibrant and beautiful on the eyes, and it's just like a never fail palette for me. I don't know, and I like the kind of like, I don't know, felt sort of fabric on it, even though it gets dirty and it's probably not the best. I still just love it. It's like it holds a special place in my heart and I just love this little palette. All right guys, so that wraps up all of my answers to the eyeshadow junkies tag. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below some of your answers to this tag. I would love to know like what your favorite single shadows are or neutrals or your favorite overall eyeshadow palette. I would just love to know some of your answers. I'm gonna tag some friends down below to do this tag, but even if you're not listed down below, I'm officially tagging you right now. If you make videos, you are tagged. And even if you don't make videos, I wanna know your answers down below too. Um, ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.